right, it is, it's actually noon. Um, this girl just woke up from a nap, like, a couple minutes ago. Got her dressed and ready for the day. Making her lunch. I got myself ready while she was sleeping. And we're gonna go do some errands today. We actually have to go grocery shopping. Um, and I also want to pick up some skincare products for myself. So I have to stop at like Ulta and Sephora. It's like freaking chaos over here today. And I almost didn't vlog, but I was kind of like, you know what? I really should because I'm just going to show you guys the real stuff. Okay. This is real life. And my whole house is a complete and utter disaster. And I'm going to show you guys everything. Okay. I'm going to show you that not everybody's home looks like a Pinterest home. Okay. I'll show you guys my outfit. It's like super casual and simple. I also realized that I must have worn this sweater to the salon and wish I never did because I have bleach stains on it. So I rolled up my sleeves to cover some of the bleach marks on my sleeve. I have some marks on the front of the sweater, but just tuck that in. So I just have on this sweater. I think this is like a Hanes or Gildan sweater. It was actually my grandpa's. The sweater was actually my grandpa's, but he passed away and I like took a bunch of his stuff and this was his, so. Wearing that today. My jeans, I have on just some old navy jeans. Nothing crazy. These were actually my after baby jeans, but I love them so much that I still wear them. They're a lot bigger on me now, but I still love them and I wear them all the time. And then I just have on my Amazon slippers. I cut my hair yesterday. While Esme was taking her first nap of the day, I gave myself a trim and then I just blew it out and braided it last night and this is the end result but i needed a haircut so bad and i had my shears with me so i was like you know what i'm just gonna cut it i actually vlogged it <laughs> for like a uh tiktok little mini tiktok video so if i edit that and post it it'll be on my tiktok but no guarantees because i honestly don't even know how that video turned out while she's finishing her lunch here in the dining room i'm gonna try and tidy up like this table and stuff that way she's still in my eyesight but this house is so atrocious, it needs a good cleaning and like things thrown out. Like I cannot wait until the weather breaks so yeah. we can just like send her off to my parents or his parents for the day and like literally open up all the windows and just start chucking stuff into the driveway for like donation and trash. Like there is so much stuff that this house just needs a good purging and i cannot wait till the weather is really really nice to do so it's sunny out today but i'm pretty sure it's like 30 degrees so it's very deceiving today but yeah i can't wait to do that because this house needs a good scrub down. and you like to go out to restaurants take them out to eat with you but like you're just not sure how sanitary like the, the table is and stuff like that and you want like a placemat for them but you want something that they won't just like tear up and throw all over the place i get these off amazon one of my other mom friends told me about them and they're just these plastic disposable placemats they have like these pictures so it keeps them distracted and they kind of think it's cool um but they have these little strips of tape the little red lines so you can just peel those off and then stick it to the table and they can't take it off and you can put all your food on there and if there's like a baby or whatever like esme will not really eat off a plate sometimes she'll want to pick up the plate and throw it so we'll just put all our food in front of her and this is like a sanitary option and she loves the picture too so you can get them off amazon i'll link them below and i think i also have them in my storefront but i'll link them below for you guys um they're lifesaver we love them okay i want to show you guys something else so I don't feel like getting my other tripod, so bear with me. Um, Esme's birthday is on Friday. You're gonna be one. You're gonna be one years old. Crazy. And her birthday is this Sunday. So, okay, I said that wrong. <laughs> her birthday is on Friday, but her party is this coming Sunday. So we're just having a small party with our close family and friends at my parents, but of course, you have to have a theme, right? right? So her theme for her birthday is bumblebees and it's my first bee day. I know, so cute. I saw it on Pinterest and I was like, okay, we'll do that. So I've got like a ton of balloons and stuff. I mean, there's bigger ones than this one. Let me show you. <laughs> oh my 
Yeah. They come in so many different sizes, so I'm like decorate a part of my parents' house where we're having her party with those. And then I just got like a ton of other balloons and stuff. Um, I'll show you guys the rest at her birthday because it really won't make sense in the box right here. But I'll show you guys her outfit because I think it's so cute. And I will link it below if any of you guys are interested in this same theme. But here's her pants. Little bell bottom velvet pants. I thought were the cutest thing ever. And then I got her this shirt to match. <gasps> Queen Bee. Are you kidding me? So freaking cute. So this will be her outfit. Do you like your outfit? Cutesy wootsy. And then I have a black bow upstairs or um, like a mustard yellowy bow. So we'll see which one works best. But that'll be her outfit. And I just thought it was so cute. So if you guys are interested in this, I will link it below for you too. But yeah, that's the theme for her birthday. And I just had to show that to you guys real quick because I thought it was so cute. Yeah. We're going to get you out of the house today. Whoa. Whoa. Why you have broccoli on your face? What's that? What's what? What? I just found a $10 gift card at Chick-fil-A. So that's where mommy's having lunch today. I'm going to have lunch at Chick-fil-A. You want to go there? I have to make our grocery list and then we can head out. I buy this like menu thingy. You can write down what's on the menu every single day of the week and then your grocery list goes over here. So I'm gonna make our grocery list and plan out our week. Okay, our list is complete. We're gonna have goulash for tonight, chicken burrito bowls tomorrow, crispy ranch chicken wraps. It's like my rendition of the McDonald's ranch crispy chicken wraps. They were so good, they don't have them anymore. That was like me back in the day when I ate McDonald's all the time <laughs> when I was in high school. Um, Cause that was the only place to go in my town. And now there's like a bazillion cute fun restaurants. But anyways, that's besides the point. Um, we're gonna have pulled chicken Pulled barbecue chicken on Thursday, tortellini with sauce and meatballs on Friday, pizza on Saturday, just because it's easy, and we're going to have her party the next day, and then yeah, party the next day, so there's already a meal planned for that party. And Esme, Esme gets to be pretty easy because she usually eats what we eat, or like for lunches and stuff, I'll make her just like easy, fun toddler meals. But like for dinner, she eats whatever we're eating for dinner, she'll eat, which is pretty easy. We did kind of a mixture of like pureed, but baby led weaning mix when starting to feed her. And now she eats literally whatever we eat. We just break it up into little pieces. But yeah, so she'll literally eat all of this. Can you say hi? I just threw on this vest from Urban Outfitters. And then I have on this bag. Did you just puke? And then I have on my UGG. Ultra minis. Up to mommy. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Let's try this hat. Oh, she's so cute. I really need to work on getting a car mount for this camera. But sometimes I like that you guys are behind the steering wheel because then no one can see and I don't look that crazy when I I get a little nervous when I stop next to someone and they can see my camera, so sometimes I really like when you guys are right by my steering wheel. Do you want the meal with that? Yes, please. American cheese, okay? Yes. Right. Can I get a, just a medium Coke? I have please a gift card. Gift Thank you. you my phone? Okay, we just went through the Chick-fil-A line. I took Esme out of her car seat. <laughs> so we're hanging out in the car and eating Chick-fil-A. Isn't this fun? You're eating a little extra lunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're on our way to Sephora and Ulta. Weird, I have to go to both of those places, but the products I need are not at one singular place. They're dispersed. Let's get our purse. Just finished up at Ulta. Now we're gonna go to Sephora. Okay, we just pulled in the driveway, we're home. I literally booked a dentist appointment on the way home in the car, that's how I get things done. I like think of things and then I just like do it. So I called the dentist, cause I'm having a troubled time with this tooth right here. I have teeth problems in general. That's like, that could be a whole nother freaking video of all my teeth issues, but I got that appointment booked. So I'm gonna go see my dentist next Thursday and get that addressed. But we're home. I'm gonna get the baby down for a nap and then I'm gonna show you guys a quick haul of everything I picked up today. But I'll show you guys what I got from Ulta and Sephora. So first from Ulta, I just picked up some 
little cotton rounds, cotton pads. Um, for skincare stuff and like nail polish and whatnot. I just ran out so I didn't have any. And then I also got the CeraVe Salicylic Acid Rough and Bumpy Skin Lotion. This stuff is so good for like um, if you have like chicken skin which is Keratosis Pilaris or KP. This stuff is so good. I can't rave about it enough. It like helps clear it up so much and also if you use it in combination with the First Aid Beauty um, like body exfoliator for bumpy skin. It has like the letters KP on it. It's so good. But this is my favorite. I just ran out so I picked up some more. I also decided to try the Good Molecules. I also decided to pick up the Good Molecules Squalene Oil. I actually really am a huge fan of Squalene in general. I loved it when I was using um, Biosan's skincare, but that stuff's really expensive. So I just decided to try this out. I saw it in the aisle and I was like, I've heard good things about good molecules. So I'm going to try this out. Um, it's, it's a lightweight facial oil that softens, seals in moisture and regulates skin natural oil, ba oil balance. So we're going to give that a go. I didn't know that Ulta was carrying my favorite moisturizer. I usually pick it up at Target, but they had it at Ulta as well. So I picked it up. It's the Bioma um, hydrate and balance moisturizing gel cream moisturizer. This is literally my favorite. This is probably like my third or fourth bottle of this stuff. I literally love it. It's changed my skin. It's so, so good and it's really affordable. And then I also picked up a new Real Technique sponge because mine was getting gross and there was legit mold on it. I don't know how that happened. It literally happened overnight. So I decided to pick up a new one and it's always good to change those out. And then from Sephora, um, I wanted to get the bigger size, but they didn't have it. So this is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. I've heard amazing things. I haven't tried this yet, um, but like I said, they only had the mini. So I got the mini version for now. See how I like it. I'm sure I'm going to love it. Um, I can't use it just yet because I'm breastfeeding. Um, I've seen mixed reviews though saying you can use it and then some saying you can't use it. So I'm actually just going to ask my doctor and see what she says because she was okay with me using the salicylic acid lotion because it wasn't that high in percentage. So I'm going to ask and see what she thinks. Um, I wanted to breastfeed up until the one year mark and we are almost there and then I'm actually starting to wean her off right now anyways so hopefully I can use it soon but uh, for now it's going to have to stay in my drawer until I'm able to use it all right she is independently playing what do you got your block and your cup yeah she was independently playing right yeah. Yeah. That my husband, my husband's almost home, so I'm just gonna try to clean up for now, and then see what happens once he gets home. Watching out the window. We're out. Where's Dada? Okay, Esme and I just went to the grocery store. I'm gonna unpack everything. I was gonna take you guys with me, but it was. share with you guys as I was like just loading some of Esme's food. Let me see if I can prop you over here. So I just finished loading up the groceries and actually a lot of the stuff was Esme's too because I needed to restock a bunch of her things. And I wanted to show you guys real quick if any of you are moms and you need like quick easy meal ideas like if you need to run out the door anything to bring with you or anything if you just like don't have time to make something yourself. Here are a few of my things that like I love to use for Esme. I buy a lot of like this brand, the Veggies Made Great brand. So she loves these spinach and egg white frittatas. This is really good. You can buy, find all these in the frozen section and I think organic section as well. We also get the blueberry and oat muffin one too. So like good breakfast ideas um, or lunch, it really doesn't matter. Um, we also get the broccoli littles, really anything from Dr. Proggers um, and the kids like literally i think we've literally tried every option that they have um i just picked up this one today the kale littles she loves that too it's a good way to get in veggies and like whole foods and like good items um she also likes the spinach cakes too what else we've done the oatmeal littles we're running low on that and we have tried these the veggie medley nuggets they were pretty good she liked them 
I did just pick up this today, the Cerebelli Smart Bars. She hasn't tried these yet, but I have a feeling she'll probably like them. She literally likes anything, and Cerebelli is a really good brand to use. So we're gonna give these a go, cause she needs some like snacking items. So we're gonna try these out. My other favorites that I love are the Once Upon a Farm brand. Their pouches are really nice, easy for like on the go. It's a little bit more pricey, but like it's good quality product and good ingredients and literally it's a good brand. I think this was rated like one of the number one brands along with Sarah Belly and Serenity Kids. And then I also like the Peter Rabbit Organics pouches too. Um, these are actually at Starbucks, but um, these are really great and Esme loves these. So I just got three flavors of those. I also buy the Stonyfield Organic Baby Yogurt. She loves these as well. So we have those for like breakfast or lunch. And then of course we do like puffs, yogurt melts, those things and stuff. But those are some of like our go-tos for like quick and easy when you need to go on the go or add it to a meal or whatever. So but I actually I forgot to share this one with you guys. Um I found this from a pediatric dietitian or nutritionist, one of the two. Is that the same thing? Maybe both. Um, she recommended these as a way to get peanut butter continuously in your baby's diet for allergy reasons. Um, this is the Bamba Peanut Butter Suns. You can find them in the baby section. That's where I found them. Um, I mean, they're really good. Like it even says great snacking for the whole family, but um, yeah, she really likes these and they're gluten free too. If anyone is gluten free and vegan. So yeah, basically it's just like a puff. It melts in your mouth kind of thing. Okay. Groceries are done. I'm going to start making dinner. While dinner's cooking, I'm going to clean up our kitchen because it is complete and utter disaster and I'm not perfect. Okay. I let this mess go on too far, too long though. So I need to tame it. It's now 9:31 finished cleaning. It feels so good to have everything cleaned up and tidy. I'm gonna do the upstairs tomorrow but I finished the whole downstairs today. It's gonna feel good to go to bed tonight with like a clean kitchen and everything else downstairs is cleaned up. Tomorrow I'm gonna clean up the upstairs and do laundry and all that stuff because we have no plans tomorrow so it's kind of perfect. But I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face. I'll show you guys my little updated skincare routine while we're here. Um, because things have changed over the year and I'm also going to try some of the new stuff I got today. Okay, I'm going to put this old headband on. I want to get a newer, cuter one, but this one will do for now. So to wash, I start off with the Versed Cleansing Balm. Probably my favorite product. It just removes the makeup so nicely. It melts to the touch of your hands. It just feels so good too. And it literally gets everything off i'm not kidding so i start with this i don't have much makeup on really but i still like to use it to make sure everything comes off then while my skin is damp i go in with la roche posay their purifying foaming cleanser it's like my favorite cleanser ever it's so good it's probably like my second or third bottle Probably my third. I feel like I've been using it for a very long time. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in with that squalene oil that I picked up today. Apply a few drops to the skin in the morning and at night. Let it absorb for 30 seconds. Give this a go. It feels really good. Already looks so glowy. There's absolutely no smell, which we love. Then I go in with my favorite product ever. This is the... Um, Post RX Advanced Nail 96 Mucin Power Essence. It's like a serum, basically. A snail serum. And it is so good. It got really popular on TikTok, but it's like literally one of my favorite products. It keeps my skin so hydrated and glowy. I just really, really love this. So you can find it at Ulta. I almost bought their moisturizer today, but. I was too nervous <laughs> because I love the moisturizer I have, but I think I think I'm gonna try it next because I really love this. So I'm kind of curious about the rest of the brand. All right, so I just bought a new moisturizer today, but I want to make sure I use every last bit of this one. It's 
the Bioma Moisturizing Gel Cream with Niacinamide and Green Tea. This stuff is so good. I'm curious to try some more from the brand, but I never got around to it. But I definitely want to try more. I did try their cleanser before. I wasn't a huge fan of it. But I think it's just because I love the Roche Pose one, like, so good that I, like, compared it to it. But it's still a pretty good cleanser. Oh my god, my skin feels so good after that oil. One of my last steps is I go in with eye cream. This is the Coco Kind Revitalizing Eye Cream. It's got, like, a metal tip, so it feels really nice underneath the under eyes when you rub it in. I like this eye cream. It's okay. I just kind of need something in a pinch and I love Coco Kind so I decided to give it a try. It's not like a glistening, um, super glowy under eye product but it definitely feels like it hydrates for sure. It's like more of a lotion if that makes sense for your under eyes. Um, maybe it brightens just a little bit but I don't feel like it does a ton. All right, so that's it for my skincare routine. I am gonna go ahead and get my PJs on, brush my teeth, and get ready for bed, and just kind of probably lay up in bed, maybe watch some TikTok and stuff. I do need to edit a couple TikToks, so I think I have to do that too, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and stay tuned for some more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do another vlog this week too, so I can try to do like two every week see how that goes but let me know how you guys are liking the videos as well and if you guys want to see anything in future videos of course comment down below but if there's any links that you guys are going to be looking for definitely check the description box below i'll link everything including my amazon storefront with all of my amazon finds esme's birthday stuff my skincare products you name it it will be down there so yeah all right see you guys in the next video bye